Hi, my name's Rob Smith. Uh, I'm a director of the Active Hands Company. We've been a limited company since 2007 and we are growing at about 50% every year. My disability is that I have a spinal cord injury. Um, I fell down on a cliff when I was on holiday in Devon when I was 20 years old. I broke my neck at level C5-6. So um, I have trouble walking. I can walk a little bit with crutches, but um, I also have my hands, which are quite highly affected. I have a lot of weakness in my fingers. Uh, you can see the wastage in my forearms. My business is the Active Hands Company. We produce uh, gripping aids for people with a number of different disabilities. The aids assist people in gripping various different uh, items to help them be active. So items may include uh, gym equipment and weights, uh, pool cues, DIY and gardening equipment. There's also uh, a lot of kids who use them for holding onto adapted trikes and walking frames. We sell our products in the UK and also internationally through our website and through various distributors um, in many countries around the world. Uh, we also have a bespoke service for making slightly more unusual products for some people who have slightly different disabilities. Uh, after my spinal injury, I really struggled um, to be able to do a lot of things which were you need a good hand grip and finger function to do. I found that really frustrating. So after some time, I um, developed the Active Hands products um, and went through lots of different stages of development with those with my mum who was helping me very much at that stage making them on her sewing machine at home. I found that they were really good and I could do lots of different activities that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to manage. Friends of mine from wheelchair rugby and other sports I was involved with said that they really liked the products and could we make some for them as well. My mum had set the business up because uh, I was doing other things and she really needed the challenge at the time. Uh, unfortunately my mum passed away from cancer not long after that um, and she's been a really big inspiration and sort of pushing the project forward and, and really getting it out to other people. And we've uh, developed the company since myself and my sister have really pushed it forward and my dad. And in the last few years, we've, we've really tried to take that to the next level. If I win the award, I think that the uh, publicity will be fantastic for helping us develop our profile, both in the UK and abroad, and help more people to become more independent in various different activities they use with our products. Uh, financially, the money will help us a lot to um, pay for some of the initial costs involved in developing new designs and getting those to market. In the future, we would also like to be able to pay ourselves uh, a salary for the work that we do for Active Hands. We've not currently been able to do that. We really are encouraged by the feedback that we get from people using our aids and saying how much independence they've got from them, how it's helped them to get into the gym and get confidence and lose weight and to do other activities that they couldn't otherwise do. So we're really proud of the company and we're really looking forward to developing it, bringing out new products and going forward in the future. My name is Hugh Thomas. Uh, my company is called ProMove UK Limited. The uh, disability first manifested itself when I was about uh, 10 years of age with a slight weakness and I developed a slightly odd way of walking. It wasn't uh, diagnosed until I was 12 and in fact I didn't have the final definitive diagnosis until some four years ago when it was identified as being limb girdle muscular dystrophy. Until then I kind of assumed from the age of about 25 that I wasn't going to live for more than about uh, 10 years. So I've been consistently wrong throughout my life in terms of my life expectancy. I had a long career in research science, but having retired, I found that I wasn't ready for it. Uh, it was really difficult. I had lots of interests and lots of books to read and things to do, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. I had several devices in my mind that I wanted to develop, things that would make life easier for me and possibly other disabled people. My business is Promove UK Limited. The product is a sling designed to pick me out of my wheelchair and transfer me to another location. We've expanded it now into eight products and these are range from a sling suitable for transferring a disabled child of three or four years of age up to a very large individual weighing 63 stone. Our customers are disabled people, families with disabled children, schools, but in particular for the larger sizes we're dealing with the Ambulance and Fire Brigade. We are currently working with a branding specialist to rebrand the company. We'll be launching a new website in the next two months. 
but if I win the award, then the development will be accelerated and we will be incorporating pages in different languages and we will be concentrating on export. Having enjoyed science so much for so many years, it was quite a surprise to find that I really felt that business was something that I reveled in. One of the great things about the business is the feedback we get from customers. People who say that it's the best thing they've ever bought. In, in one case, we developed a sling specifically for a, a child. He has brittle bone disease and he had never been away from home because there was no means of transferring him from his wheelchair without the hoist. And we were able to make some small ad adaptations to the sling and the family were able to go on holiday for the first time ever. And it's things like that that really make the business worthwhile. Hello, my name is Ben Wolfenden and my company is Equestrian Outfitters. My disability is cystic fibrosis. It's a genetic disorder and mainly affects my lungs and digestive system. People wouldn't even realise that I had an illness such as cystic fibrosis. And here's an example of a week's worth of medication. Unfortunately, I'm not the only person in my family that suffered from cystic fibrosis. My sister Paula suffered from cystic fibrosis and unfortunately passed away when she was 16. My beautiful fiance, Daisy, helps me more than anyone could ever imagine. And we're getting married next year on the 20th of May. And we can't wait. My business Equestrian Outfitters supplies uh, an array of equestrian products. Everything from jobbers and riding boots to horse rugs and tack across the UK and as far as Australia and New Zealand. I, unlike several um, sufferers of CF, managed to get a place at Bath University to study maths and statistics. My chosen career at that point was to look at accountancy. Now I managed to secure a role with one of the leading accountancy firms in the UK. I found that the, the 60 hour weeks um, were just detrimental to my health and that on a Friday evening, instead of looking forward to the weekend, I'd actually find myself thinking I've got to fight through the weekend to make sure that my body's ready for the Monday morning. So obviously I couldn't go on with this any further and they tried as, as much as they could to help me, but it just wouldn't work. Um, and so at that point I realised that being in control of my own destiny and control of my own working hours was the key to making sure that I could work both my disability and my life in tandem. If I win the award, the money will help me grow the business quite dramatically over the next 12 to 18 months, um, investing in uh, a selection of online marketing strategies that I have and will help me to work on the business rather than in the business that so many entrepreneurs find so difficult over those first few years. This award means a lot, not just to me, but I am sure to the whole disabled society, anybody that manages to either find work or start their own business um, can find inspirational stories and also know that they're not the only ones that have difficulties and that we all strive, no matter how difficult it can be sometimes, to make something work.